Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a food video and I'm gonna be making a dinner. This is a vegetarian dinner that I recently made for my family. Everybody really loved it, so I thought that I would recreate it and share it with you guys here and the recipe. I also wanted to share a little bit about my inspiration lately with cooking, where I find ideas for meal prepping. I was really feeling a lack of inspiration for cooking lately, so I decided to sign up for a master class and take Alice Waters' master class. Is having trees in my garden that don't need a lot of care. I can't believe I've got these beautiful liar lemons still on the tree. She is a chef that owns a restaurant in California and I find her style and her cooking methods just really beautiful and inspiring. I also get a lot of inspiration on Pinterest and I try to find ideas that I have some recipes that are really throw and go, easy to put together. And then sometimes I um, my boys are getting old enough to play together, so I just encourage them to play together while I make dinner. I definitely do frozen meals and quick dinners, but I've been enjoying the process of cooking a little bit more, and I'm trying to find inspiration from fresh food. So even like my local Vons, they just have really beautiful, they have a beautiful selection of fresh foods, and I try to be inspired by A, what's in my garden and what we're growing. I recently made something the other day from the squash we grew, and it was just, it was really cool to be able to do that, but also just to find what's fresh Fresh. and I don't make it to the farmers market as often as I would want to but when I go I want to see what the farmers are growing and I have some really beautiful mushrooms some fresh cilantro I have some Swiss chard so I got inspired by what was fresh and I made a few meals that week with what I was inspired by when I went to the store and I also had an acorn squash that I wanted to utilize to make some roasted squash, which is so delicious. So I'm making some honey roasted squash, and this is actually pretty easy to make. Now, the squash itself is a little bit of a challenge to cut into, so you have to be pretty careful with it. I'm just scooping out the inside. I'm gonna put the inside in my compost pail, and then I'm gonna cut them into half moon shapes, and I'm gonna roast them in the oven at about 350 to 400 degrees for about 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna add some olive oil, salt, and pepper on both sides and then on one side I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some honey which is totally optional but it does give it a really nice flavor The outside gets a really nice golden brown and so yeah that'll take about 30 minutes to cook up so I'm going to start with that first and go ahead and put that in the oven. Next, I'm gonna be making some fluffy cilantro rice with some cumin yogurt. Now, you can of course omit the yogurt if you are vegan, and you could even use like a coconut yogurt or an alternative yogurt. I'm actually gonna roast up some cumin seeds in a small pan, so just get those nice and toasted, and you can smell it, it smells really beautiful. And then I'm going to take a little salt, and I'm gonna make some cumin salt. And I have my mortar and pestle here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grind that until it is a really fine cumin salt. Next, I'm chopping up about two cloves of garlic, and I'm going to reserve some of that garlic for later for my Swiss chard, but I'm gonna take a little bit of that and put it again in my mortar and pestle. At this point, I have taken out the Cuban salt, and I'm gonna go ahead and just grind the garlic until it is a paste, and then I'm gonna add about half of the cumin salt into there so that it becomes a garlic cumin salt. And I'm gonna put that in some Greek yogurt and add that with the rice. So that's gonna be a topping with the rice. It tastes super yummy. And I'm going to reserve some of the cumin salt for later. 
cumin salt is also really nice on hard boiled eggs in the morning. Um, so I like to just save a little bit for different recipes. Now I'm taking some Greek yogurt as mentioned and I'm going to add my garlic cumin salt into that just a little bit, um, maybe about teaspoon, two teaspoons, and I'm gonna mix that up real nice. I love this bowl. I actually wanted to make pottery two years ago for my birthday, and this is one of the bowls I made um, on my birthday. So I've kept it around, and I love it. I'm gonna make some brown basmati rice. I'm just gonna go ahead and cook that up in a pan. Um, but I also have brown rice I keep in my freezer that you can just stick in the microwave for when I do my throw and go meals and I don't have time to make a meal like this. And I get that at Trader Joe's. It's really easy, you just toss it in the microwave so you could use that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off all of my veggies so that there's no extra dirt on there. So now I'm gonna move on to the salad and I'm gonna put this together pretty quick. So I have these heirloom carrots. I'm taking off the tops and I'm gonna put that in my compost pail. And then I'm going to use my peeler, just to remove the tops of the carrots as well. And then I'm gonna to continue to peel so that I have these strips of carrots that kind of turn into curls. And I'm gonna put those into an ice bath. That's gonna help it keep that curl. And then I have some romaine lettuce. I'm just gonna rip that off with my hands with a little radicchio. Again, rip it off, throw it in there. I'm gonna make sure the carrot strips are dry and then I'm gonna throw those in there, toss it up, add a little olive oil, salt and pepper, lemon, you have a pretty quick and easy salad. In terms of the carrots, you could chop them, you could do whatever you want with them, but I like to have carrot in my salad, and this is kind of a quick and easy way to do it. So, next I'm moving on to the Swiss chard. I'm taking the garlic that I set aside, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that into a pan that already has some olive oil in there, a little garlic, and then I cook the Swiss chard in small batches. So I probably go in thirds, so I'll start with a small batch, I'll make sure that that's pretty cooked, I'll set that aside, and then I will continue to cook in until that's all done. And I do like to add some lemon, a little bit of salt and pepper as well. And um, Swiss chard is really easy. I love Swiss chard. It's a little harder to get kids to be interested in Swiss chard, um, but I personally love it. My husband and I really love it. And uh, we did get Oliver to eat a little bit of it. And um, he definitely enjoyed the rice and the acorn squash a little bit more. Um, but yeah, a little bit of lemon on the salad, a little bit of olive oil, and we're getting closer to being ready with the meal. So I add one part rice to two parts water. So if I have one cup of rice, I'm gonna have two cups of water. And the rice is looking about done. I'm gonna chop up some fresh cilantro. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that inside the rice. Add a little tiny bit of salt. I do like to salt everything a little bit. You can use Himalayan pink salt, you could use sea salt, but I do like to kind of salt everything a little bit so it's not bland. So that's looking ready to go. So now it's time to serve the meal. I usually don't do a fancy plate. Uh, I usually do it family style. So if if I'm feeding my family or you know I have my parents over or whatever everybody's just gonna grab a plate and grab as much as they want of everything in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and plate for myself so I have a good amount of rice I have the cumin yogurt next to it and you kind of you can actually use the yogurt with everything and it just really tastes good in combination with everything but I like a good amount of Swiss chard a nice chunk of salad and then the um, roasted squash I know some kids are really picky eaters um, but from the time my kids were really little I take foods like these and just make sure to cut it up really really small Swiss chard can be kind of tough for kids to eat of course so you can even mash up the squash so that it's like a mashed potato um, and omit the honey if you want but anyway I like to have them try to experiment with different flavors so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and you try it out and you enjoy it I have more throw and go meals coming soon but I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video bye